everyone. A lot of you have asked me over the years what I think is the best steam tourist railroad in the United States. So I've decided to come up with a list of what I think are the top 10 best steam train rides around. For this list, I'm only going to be focusing on railroads that regularly operate steam locomotives, so at least a few times a week during the summer tourist season. Additionally, I didn't consider most museums for this list, as those will be counted in future top 10 lists about railroad museums. I'm also going to limit this top 10 to the lower 48, so no White Pass in Yukon, otherwise it probably would have been included. Now, one last thing before we get started. There are a lot of fantastic and awesome steam railroads all over the United States. Unfortunately, there isn't room for all of them, so just know that if there is a railroad I didn't include, it's not because I don't think it's cool or something. This is just a very limited list of what I think are some of the best steam train rides in the country from my experience traveling around the US and visiting all these railroads. Alright, let's begin. Number 10, the Yosemite Mountain Sugar Pine Railroad. Nestled in the Sierra Nevada mountains on the way to Yosemite National Park, the Yosemite Mountain Sugar Pine Railroad takes guests on a beautiful ride through the forests and back in time. Located about an hour north of Fresno, California, the railroad is built on a portion of the old Madera Sugar Pine Lumber Company that operated logging trains in this area during the early 1900s. Situated right off the road to Yosemite's south entrance, this little railroad is a great side adventure if you're traveling to the national park. Trains run daily from April through late October, and there are usually multiple trips scheduled each day. One of the railroad's two Shea-type logging locomotives pulls tourists in cars made out of split logs on an hour-long, four-mile narrated trip through dense groves of pine and cedar. There's just something about winding through the trees and listening to the hard-working locomotive thundering up the hill that's both magical and captivating. If you are looking for even more of a unique experience, check out the railroad's Summer Moonlight Special Barbecue Dinner Trains. It's hard to imagine much better than steam trains in the Sierras, but we still have nine more awesome steam railroads to get to on this list. Number 9. The Oregon Coast Scenic Railroad from the splendor of the forest to the roaring beauty of the Pacific Ocean coast, our next steam train ride takes us to the town of Garibaldi, Oregon, located about an hour and a half to the west of Portland. Since 2003, the Oregon Coast Scenic Railroad has rolled along the shores of the Pacific, taking visitors on an hour-long trip between the seaside towns of Garibaldi and Rockaway Beach. This stretch of railroad was once part of a branch line linking the town of Tillamook with the greater Portland area. Trips are pulled by one of the railroad's several steam locomotives from the Pacific Northwest region, including McLeod Railway No. 25, which made an appearance in the movie Stand By Me. The train makes multiple trips daily from mid-May through the end of September, and you can board from either end of the line. At each end, there is a half-hour stopover, but if you want more time to explore the towns, you can always plan to take a later return trip. If you're up for a longer ride, the Oregon Coast Scenic operates full day trips up to Wheeler and into the Nehalem River Valley a few times a year as well. These trips are often very popular in the fall when the trees in the canyon have turned a beautiful mix of orange and yellow. Number 8. The Virginia and Truckee Railroad our next steam train adventure takes us into the heart of Nevada's Comstock mining region. The Virginia and Truckee operates steam trains on a restored portion of railroad grade that was constructed by the original Virginia and Truckee Railroad in the 1870s. Located conveniently within an hour's drive from both Carson City and Reno, Nevada, the railroad makes a great Old West themed steam train experience. From the ancient mining buildings to the high desert chaparral, it takes little imagination to feel like you're back in the late 1800s. From May through October, the railroad runs daily excursions from the historic town of Virginia City to the Gold Hill Depot on a 35-minute long narrated round trip. On weekends, you can also board the train at the Carson City Eastgate Depot for a full day ride up the mountain to Virginia City and return. Occasionally, the railroad also runs trips west out of the Eastgate Depot down along the Carson River Canyon. Number 7. The Texas State Railroad Through the piney woods of eastern Texas, this steam train ride takes visitors on a leisurely 50-mile, 4-hour-long round trip between Palestine and Rusk, Texas, crossing through marshes and over streams along the way. Wildlife is in abundance here, and you are likely to see several of the more than 100 different species of birds that inhabit the forest. 
The Scenic Journey is accompanied by informative narration about the history of the railroad and the area in general. From the Dallas-Fort Worth area, the railroad is within a two-hour drive and from Houston, it's about two and a half. Steam trains typically run on Fridays and Saturdays throughout the year, but if you are planning a visit, be sure to take a look at the schedule in advance. Spring and fall are always good times to ride as you will get to enjoy either beautiful blossoms or stunning fall colors. Number 6. Black Hills Central Railroad Just a stone's throw away from Mount Rushmore in South Dakota's Black Hills region lies one of America's oldest tourist railroads. Since 1957, this railroad has been rolling along through the scenic Black Hills National Forest. Multiple daily steam-powered trains run from May through October. The railroad runs over a 10-mile long route between Hill City and Keystone. In each direction, the trip takes one hour and passengers can board from either end of the line for a one-way or full round trip. On your journey, you will enjoy the beauty of the forests and peaks that make up the Black Hills while also learning about the role the mining industry played in developing the area back in the 1880s. Adding even more to the experience is the sound of the engine as it works hard to climb the steep grades which can be as much as 4 to 6%. Whether you happen to be in the area or you are planning a trip just to ride, the Black Hills Central Railroad is definitely worth a visit. Number 5. The Strasburg Railroad We now move over to the eastern United States for a look at one of America's best known tourist railroads. The Strasburg Railroad operates steam trains over one of the oldest active rail lines in the country built in 1832. Located within a two-hour drive of most of the major cities in the Northeast, this is an ideal day trip if you want to get your steam train fix. Trains run out of the Strasburg, Pennsylvania Depot on a four and a half mile long, 45 minute trip through Pennsylvania Dutch Country. It's not the longest journey on the list, but it's a very fun ride through the countryside and back to the days of steam. This is one of the most active steam tourist railroads in the United States with multiple daily trips for most of the year and several special event excursions during the off-season. They even use steam to pull revenue freight trains over the railroad on occasion. How neat is that? Combine this with three larger-than-life coal-fired steam locomotives and you have yourself one impressive steam railroad. Number 4. Cass Scenic Railroad Country roads take me home to the land of fire-breathing, steam-powered logging giants. Our next railroad takes us deep into the mountains of West Virginia and well off the grid. In fact, be prepared to turn your phone off for the day and put it away as you will not have any cell service here, but that's okay, it just adds to the experience. Cass, West Virginia and the Cass Scenic Railroad is one of those few places you can take a minute to just step away from it all and enjoy the experience. Originally built as a logging railroad, this tourist line now hosts thousands of visitors each year on trips into picturesque Appalachia. Many of the original buildings from the logging company are still here along with several of the railroad's original steam locomotives, adding to the ambiance. If you really want to get into the experience, you can even stay in one of the original company houses for the night. Trips run on most days from May through October and there are a few different excursion options available. One of the most popular is the five-hour trip up to the top of Bald Knob, the third highest peak in West Virginia. Any time is a good time to ride, but for a truly incredible experience, visit in late September or October to see the amazing fall colors. The Cass Scenic Railroad is one authentic experience that you definitely will not want to miss. Number 3. The Georgetown Loop Railroad From the East Coast, we return to the mountains of the Western United States. The Georgetown Loop Railroad is located about an hour west of Denver right off Interstate 70. This unique tourist line actually loops over itself on an impressive 95 foot high, 300 foot long trestle as it climbs up the grade. Steam trains run daily from late May through early October and you can board from either Silver Plume or Devil's Gate Station. The ride is an hour and 15 minute long experience and from on board you will see stands of pine and aspen trees along with relics from the days of Colorado mining in the region. You can even stop midway for an actual mine tour. But in my experience, there is nothing quite like riding right behind the locomotive as it thunders back up the 4% grade from Devil's Gate to Silver Plume. You can make this outing a half-day side trip or a full-day adventure, but either way, the Georgetown Loop Railroad is one of my favorites. Number 2. Durango and Silverton Narrow Gauge Railroad Alpine forests, formidable mountains, a beautiful valley, a rushing river, and a coal-fired steam train. Interested? 
Well then, the Durango and Silverton may just be the steam train ride for you. Home of the fabled Silverton train, the Durango and Silverton is yet another trip back in time. Climb aboard authentic wooden coaches, some dating back to the 1880s, for an unforgettable trip deep into the San Juan National Forest, from the quaint town of Durango, Colorado, to the mining town of Silverton, about 45 miles to the north. This is a great all-day train ride through the San Juan range of the Rocky Mountains, and the steam locomotives only add to the experience. Trains run from Durango to Silverton from the beginning of May through the end of October, but the railroad also runs trains during the other months of the year from Durango to Cascade Canyon in return on a five-hour round trip. One of the railroad's most popular special events, especially for families, is the Polar Express, which runs every November and December. The Durango and Silverton also has many other special trips, including all sorts of specially themed excursions and the yearly photography specials for those wishing to take pictures of the train in the beautiful mountain scenery. If you don't mind the cold, my favorite time of year to ride is in the winter on board the Cascade Canyon Winter Train. The region is transformed into a stunning winter wonderland that you can enjoy all from the comfort of your train car. If you are looking for a winter steam train experience, this is definitely the way to go as the Durango and Silverton is one of the only steam railroads that operates year round. What could be better than a ride on the Silverton train? Believe it or not, there is still one last railroad I have for this top 10 list. Number 1. The Cumbres and Toltec Scenic Railroad Get ready for the ultimate trip back in time. If you want the authentic steam train experience, this is your ticket. The Cumbres and Toltec Scenic Railroad is home to one of the best collections of authentic historic railroad equipment in the world. Coal-fired, steam-powered trains traverse the 64-mile-long rail line from Chama, New Mexico to Antonito, Colorado on a daily basis from Memorial Day weekend through mid-October. This full-day trip is one that you will most certainly remember for years to come. On board, you will experience some of the most diverse and untouched scenery around. Beautiful river valleys, craggy mountain peaks, high deserts, aspen forests, and steep rocky canyons, the Cumbres and Toltec has it all. Combine the spectacular scenery with the historic steam locomotives and you have a number one hit. In fact, most of the locomotives and cars on the railroad have been running over this exact rail line for nearly 100 years if not more. Trains board from both endpoints and you can choose to ride over a portion of the route or the entire thing with a bus return in one day. For first time visitors, I recommend traveling over the whole route because the scenery on the western half is very different from that of the eastern half. Both endpoints are about a two and a half hour drive from Albuquerque, New Mexico and slightly farther from Denver, Colorado. Probably the best time to visit the railroad is the end of September or very beginning of October. During this time, the fall colors are in their prime as the aspen trees turn from green to a beautiful golden yellow hue. But no matter when you go, the Cumbres and Toltec Scenic Railroad is sure to be a special experience and is my pick for the best steam-powered train ride in the United States. Well, that's the end of the line for this trip. I hope you enjoyed this look at what I think are some of the best steam train rides in the United States. If there's a railroad that you think I should have included on this list, please let me know by leaving a comment down below. I'll be back next Friday and every Friday after at 9 a.m. Pacific time with another brand new railroading adventure. Until next time, I'm Mike Armstrong. I'll see you down the line. Thanks for watching.